this tanky find will rewrite official history. Archaeologists are looking for ancient feces to find out what the Chinese ate in ancient times. In Israel, they found a mysterious handprint in the rock underground, and in Peru, a young guy slept in the same bed with a mummy. Watch the video until the end, it will be interesting. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Ancient Sword Replica An interesting incident occurred in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, USA. Their museum kept what they thought was a replica of an ancient sword. This Bronze Age weapon was found in the Danube River in Budapest, Hungary, in the 1930s. Hungarian archaeologists visiting this museum in the USA asked to take a closer look at the sword and what they recognized amazed them. The sword was exposed to X-rays to ionize the material it was made from. By measuring the energy and intensity of the X-rays coming out of the material, scientists can find out what it is. In the case of the sword, it has been found to be almost identical to other Bronze Age European swords. It contained a similar content of bronze, copper, and tin. Usually, in this way, archaeologists manage to prove that the artifact turns out to be a fake, and not the original as previously thought. In our case, the study of the sword by archaeologists was shocking. The sword, believed to be a replica, turned out to be almost 3,000 years older than previously thought, but the team of scientists was able to prove this too late, so the weapon will not be shown to visitors in the museum. They want to study it in even more detail in order to understand who it belonged to and how it got there. Researchers believe the sword was placed in the Danube as part of an ancient ritual, perhaps in memory of a lost loved one or a battle. Mystery of the Creepy Little Mermaid Revealed I have already talked about this terrible mermaid several times. On YouTube you could see videos related to this find, but only now the real truth about her has been revealed. Researchers in Japan conducted an in-depth analysis of an artifact kept at the Andrian Temple in the city of Asakuchi. The mummy of an unusual creature, 30 centimeters long, with a scaly fish tail, a human-like head, and two arms, aroused the interest of tourists and scientists from all over the world. Scientists carefully studied its composition and published their results. Japanese mythology differs significantly from Greek and Slavic. I would say that in Japanese, the monsters look more creepy and intimidating, so in Japanese myth, there is a certain creature that lives in the water and it is called Ninio. In fact, these are the same mermaids, only not so beautiful. Hollywood films love to turn the terrible into something beautiful and kind, so they made beautiful mermaids out of Ninio and made kind and romantic pirates out of medieval sea killers and robbers. No one knows how the Ninio mummy got into the Andrian temple, but a handwritten document from 1903 is stored in the same temple, which says that the mermaid was caught in Kochi Prefecture in 1736-1741. In fact, several such specimens are kept in museums in Japan, and only one has been studied in detail today using the most modern equipment. Scientists have used all possible methods to examine the mummy, and now they can say with confidence what it consists of. Typically, such Frankensteins were made from the skeleton of a mummy monkey and a fish, but in our case, the skeleton in the upper part of the body was absent. Scans revealed that the object was made of cloth, cotton, and paper coated with a mixture of charcoal and sandpaste. With a mixture of charcoal and sandpaste. The head is mostly cotton and covered with what looks like a plaster. The hair on the head is animal hair and the scales are from two kinds of fish. The upper part of the body is covered with the skin of a puffer fish and the lower part is covered with the scales of one of the types of croaker. The fingernails are made from animal horn and the sharp-toothed jaw used to belong to some kind of carnivorous fish. Radiocarbon analysis of fish scales show that it was made up to the 1800s. Of course, all this turned out to be fake, and in nature there are no mermaids, no Nino. But this object will not cease to be a valuable exhibit in the museum. In any case, the mummy is made of very high quality and thought out, which is why it was able to survive for 200 years. Scientists drink 2.6 billion year old water. 
As soon as the world calmed down from the pandemic, scientists decided to conduct a new, unusual experiment. Without hesitation, it seems to me, they decided to taste the water, which is 2.6 billion years old. Water has been preserved from the time when there was not even free oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere, and the first multicellular organisms began to appear almost a billion years later. This water was not like we are used to seeing it. It was salty and sticky. Is it really water, though? Water was found in thin cracks in the granite of a Canadian mine. The source was several kilometers below the Earth's surface. Canadian geologist and geochemist Professor Barbara Sherwood Lola decided to taste the oldest water on the planet. She is known for her research on water resources. It's even scary to imagine how much water she tasted in her entire life. According to his statements, the water turned out to be salty, viscous, and having the consistency of light maple syrup. The liquid is extremely salty due to the reaction between water and rock, and also has a higher viscosity than tap water. It, is, it also turned orange as minerals begin to form in it. While someone is tasting the viscous liquid of the earth, I will tell you about the oldest skates from China. Bone skates in China it turns out, 3,500 years ago in China, people were engaged in figure skating. At least they had skates. Archaeologists have discovered many Bronze Age relics in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region in northern China. Artifacts date back to the 16th-15th centuries BC. Among the finds were the remains of wooden vehicles, cultural artifacts, and bone skates. A pair of skates made from animal bones is the oldest such find in China and Asia in general. Archaeologists believe that skates were used in the early Bronze Age by the ancestors of modern Mongols. They are made from deer bones and were specially sharpened to create a cutting edge that allowed the wearer to glide across the ice. So far, researchers cannot say for sure for what purposes they were used – for hunting, transport, or something else. In form and material, they are similar to those found in Europe. This suggests the people in the Bronze Age had a huge cultural and technological exchange. Our ancestors traveled thousands of kilometers to exchange goods and technologies. In addition to skates, researchers found wooden fragments of an ancient transport at the excavation site. Among them, 11 solid wheels and more than 30 wooden parts, shafts, axles, and other components. Researchers believe that these are parts of wooden carts that were used in the construction of the tomb. The discovery of such artifacts will help archaeologists better understand how migration took place and how knowledge spread over thousands of kilometers. And the next ancient find on the ground surprised archaeologists. Archaeologists. Mysterious footprint on the ground. Another mysterious find was discovered by archaeologists in Israel in the old city of Jerusalem. In the previously buried massive ditch, the researchers found an engraved handprint on the wall. Scientists carried out excavations near one of the main highways of the city. It is believed that the ditch was dug by the Muslim defenders of the city around the 10th century to strengthen the defenses of the city walls. Archaeologists had no idea that one of the most important city streets was built right over a huge ditch. It is interesting that the ditch was carved directly into the rock. Its width is 10 meters and its depth is from 2 to 7 meters. Archaeologists still cannot understand why the ancient builders left a handprint more than 1,000 years ago. Interestingly, this imprint could belong to some kind of ruler or priest, as well as an ordinary builder with a sense of humor. As we all know, ditches were dug in order to fill them with water. In our case, the ditch was never filled with water. Ancient engineers believed that the size of this barrel would be enough to hold or slow down the enemy. Artifacts from different eras in Germany Searching for objects and treasures with the help of metal detectors is popular all over the world. In some countries, such searches are prohibited. It often happens that newbies are lucky, which happened with one metal detector in northern Germany. He came across an 800-year-old hoard of gold jewelry and silver coins. The treasure was gigantic and tells us about the active trade relations in the area. The hoard consisted of a dozen collection of artifacts, two very high-quality gold earrings set with semi-precious stones, a gold-plated pseudo-coin brooch, two gold-plated rings with 
stones, a fragment of a ring, a small previously gold-plated perforated disc, a ring brooch, and about 30 silver coins. Archaeologists have been exploring the Schleswig-Holstein region and in particular the city of Haitibu, which has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for decades. Haitibu was destroyed and abandoned around 1066. Prior to that, it was the second largest Scandinavian city and was important to the Vikings between the 8th and 11th centuries. Someone deliberately buried a bag of jewels in this place. The treasure hunter accidentally found a treasure in a place that had previously been studied several times. Archaeologists immediately arrived at the site and excavated. The gold earrings correspond to the traditions of Byzantine jewelers, and the brooch was made from the gold dinner of the Almohads. Silver coins were minted during the time of the Danish king Voldemort II, which indicates that the treasure was buried at least after 1234. Gold bead over 1,600 years old and again, excavations in Jerusalem. A gold bead made by a skilled jeweler over 1,600 years ago was discovered in the Amak Tsurim National Park. The find was discovered by 18-year-old Hillel Feidman, who is in the National Service Park. Archaeologists believe that the bead was part of a bracelet or necklace. The soil was taken from a luxurious building that stood on the pilgrimage road. Judging by the finds made here and shards of overseas ceramics, it can be concluded that a very wealthy family lived here. The value of this find is not only in the material of manufacture, but also in the skill of the ancient jeweler. The technology for the production of such jewelry appeared in Mesopotamia in the 3rd millennium BC. Researchers suggest that the age of the bead may be much older than 1,600 years. The jeweler needed great skill in working with the material in order to carefully connect small balls to each other and not flatten them. To do this, it is important to maintain the correct temperature. Similar jewelry has already been found in Jerusalem, but they were made of silver. Travel chests with books Now any of us can store all our favorite books on a smartphone or in special ebooks. Previously, there was no such possibility, and there was a need to go on a trip with books. For this, people used a travel chest with books. Now around the world, there are only about 100 such chests left. In 2019, Oxford Bodleian Libraries purchased one from a private buyer. The case came from France and was made of wood and leather in the 1400s. It also had metal clasps and hand straps for carrying. Most of the surviving book chests date back to the 1500s, making them among the oldest ever found. The most interesting find was a woodcut attached to the inside of the lid. It was a play called God the Father in Majesty, a draft from a liturgical book in Paris. Overall, the woodcut was incredibly rare. Not only has it been found in its original context and dated to the earliest attempts at printing in Europe, only four types are known to exist. 800-year-old mummy is someone's girlfriend. This creepy story took place in Peru, like many others associated with ancient mummies and terrible rites. 26-year-old Julio Cesar Bermejo sleeps in the same bed with the mummy Juanita, which he inherited from his father. Juanita has lived in this house for over 30 years, but the main disappointment of an older woman lover was awaiting for him further. It was not Juanita, but the real Juan. Quite by chance, the police approached the guy to conduct a routine inspection of things. Julio worked as a courier, and in his refrigerator bag, he carried an ancient mummy with him, claiming that it was his girlfriend. He told the police that he loves her and cares for her, and also that she sleeps with him in the same bed. I probably won't say anything about the guy's mental health. Doctors will tell you about this after they conduct a medical examination. Until then, he will remain in custody. The guy claims that his father brought the mummy home 30 or 40 years ago because the museum did not accept it as a gift. According to the former courier, his family bought it for 2,000 Peruvian souls, at the time a huge amount. Specialists in antiquities have already managed to draw the first conclusions on the mummy. The pre-Hispanic relic is a mummified adult male. He lived presumably in the eastern part of Puno, a region in the Peruvian Andes, about 1,300 kilometers southeast of Lima. The man was about 45 years old. The guy said that he just decided to meet with his friends and took the mummy with him because he wanted to show off the girl to his friends. It is difficult to add something to the story, so I propose to move on to the next find of archaeologists. Flush toilet over 2,000 years old. 
In official world history, it is believed that the first flush toilet was created in England in 1569 by John Harrington for his goddaughter, Queen Elizabeth I. However, a recent find in China wants to rewrite this historical fact. According to this find, the first toilet bowl with a flush appeared in China one and a half two thousand years ago. In addition to flushing, this toilet had a plumbing that led to a drain pit apparently located outside the palace. There is no doubt that this luxury item, created even before our era, was used by high-ranking residents of the palace. It is now a toilet in every home, but before, it was a privilege only for the elite. An ancient city on the territory of the modern Chinese city of Liang was discovered in the 1980s. From the moment of discovery to this day, massive excavations are on the way there. In 2012, two more castle complexes were found and in 2020, a third was found. At present, only platform foundations remain of the buildings. In addition, archaeologists have unearthed a large semicircular tile known as the Royal Gate Tile. It was found in the four corners of the foundation. The age of the toilet bowl is between 2200 and 2400 years old, which means that the toilet was created in the period from the Warring States to the beginning of the Han Dynasty. According to experts, the find is intriguing as, in fact, England is no longer the country where the toilet was created. We are talking about a flush toilet since the first stone toilets without a flush appeared 6,000 years ago. After discovering the toilet, archaeologists are eager to explore the surrounding soil near the pit. It in their opinion can tell about the diet and eating habits of ancient people in China. However, ancient theses have not yet been found. This is where I'll end this video. I wish you stay positive and do not forget to rate the video with your thumb up and write a kind comment under the video. Thanks for the views. Bye everyone!